guys. Hello. I promise land. Hey, promise land. Hey, kids. Hello, promise land. Hello, everyone at Tammy's Island. Hi, promise island. Hi, promise land. Hi, promise land, kids. Hello, promise island, kids. Hi, promise land. Hey, homegrown kids. Hello, promise land, kids. Hi, promise island. Hi, five kids. Oh, hello, promise island. Hi, promise land, kids. Promise land. Hello, Promise Island. Hello, Promise Island. Hey, kids. Remember me? My name is Charles. A and what is your name? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Pardon? You really are going to have to speak up. Oh, dear. I just can't hear you. Whoa! No need to shout. <laughs> At least I know you are here. I am so glad to have you joining us today. Now, I am going to need you to stand up. Yes, good. You all standing? Excellent. We are learning about following Jesus. Did you know that you can follow Jesus? Who can you follow? Jesus, that's right. We are going to take some time to sing a song about that. Now, I'm not sure about you, but sometimes before I sing, I need to get ready. So, everybody stretch down and touch your toes. Good and stretch to the left <clears throat> and stretch to the right and jump up and down jump 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 all right and let's get our voices warm excellent everyone ready great
me show you how to do the memory verse. Okay, come follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4 verse 19. Okay, Joel, you try it on your own. Come follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4 verse 19. Good job. Betty, can you say it? Come follow me, Jesus said. Good job. And all together again. Come follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4 verse 19. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now it is safe to cross the road. Right this way. <laughs> Sorry, friends. I was just practicing. Remember last week we played a little game called Be the Leader. Now, once again, I am dressed up as a leader in the neighborhood. Can you guess who I am? Hmm. Sometimes I stand near the schools. Yes. You are so smart. I am a traffic officer. I tell people and cars when to stop. And I tell people and cars when to go. <laughs> a traffic officer is the leader of the road. You are too clever. Now, why don't we play a little game? Can everybody stand up? And when I say go, when you see this sign, you must jump up and down as many times as you can. And then when I say stop, you have to freeze like this. Oh. Excellent. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Jump, 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 jump. Excellent. Jump, jump, jump. Stop. Oh, good one. Good listening, kids. One more time. Jump, 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 jump. Go and stop. Excellent. You are very good at listening. Well done. Now we are going to sing another song. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
Please sit down, children. I want to remind you of a way you can shine your light and help people, just like the greatest leader, Jesus. We have one more week to take part in the Corona Kids Challenge, which you're about to see, and then we have a great story from the Bible. Hey kids, I have got something so exciting to tell you about. Obviously with lockdown and having been at home for the last lots and lots of days, you all know about the coronavirus. And sometimes you can feel a little bit helpless. You know that there's people out there who are struggling to eat and don't have enough money for food, um, and some people who are sick. And I don't know about you, I'm sure you're like me, we want to be able to help them. Now sometimes as kids we feel like we can't help, maybe because we're too small or maybe because we don't have jobs and so we don't earn money and our parents don't give us very much pocket money. And especially during these last few weeks we've been stuck at home. Well I have got a way for you to be able to help people who have been impacted by the coronavirus and it is called the Corona Kids Challenge. So there's a little guy called Lincoln who started this challenge and his parents because he's only 18 months old. Anyway, the way this challenge works is you will set up an obstacle course or like a track in your garden around your house and it needs to be relevant to your age, suitable for your age. So you should be able to do the track 10 times and it should be tough but possible. Then you would tell people about this challenge that you're taking on and ask people to sponsor you to do these laps, maximum of 10, and to do this challenge in your very own home. And people would sponsor you per lap, and all the money that we raise will be donated to the Home Ground Corona Fund, which is there to help people who don't have enough money for food, to help people who are sick or who have lost their jobs. And so this is an amazing way to help. So remember I said that one little guy started this. So he challenged all his friends and six other kids took up the challenge. And between the seven of them, they managed to raise, listen to this, 11,452 Rand 30 cents. 11,452 Rand and 30 cents. And that's from just seven kids. Can you believe it? Imagine how much the whole bunch of us at Promised Land and Promised Island could raise to help people with the coronavirus. Imagine. And so come on kids, we want to challenge you with the Corona Kids Challenge. So far the oldest child to take part has been six years old. And so I want to see some fancy tracks, get your parents to contact me if they've got questions, and let's get out there kids and show those adults just how much kids can help. Hello everyone, it's Auntie Mal here. I have a question for you. Have you ever been fishing? Fishing is so much fun, and I have a true story about when Jesus met some fishermen. Would you like to hear it? Today's story from the Bible begins with two fishermen named Peter and Andrew. What were their names again? Peter and Andrew. Instead of using a fishing rod like the one you've probably used if you've ever been fishing, Peter and Andrew used a big net to go fishing. Everyone, pretend to throw out your nets. One, two, three. Throw out your nets. Now, let's pull in our nets. Pull, pull, pull. One more time. Pull. Yes, we did it. We went fishing, just like the fishermen did in the Bible. So, Peter and Andrew were fishing when all of a sudden, Jesus came walking by. They had seen Jesus do amazing things. They knew Jesus was a really special leader. And then Jesus said to them, Come, follow me, and we will look for people instead of fish. What? Jesus, the most special leader of all time, wanted fishermen to come with him? Right away, Peter and Andrew left their nets behind 
and follow Jesus. Jesus then saw two more fishermen on a boat. Their names were James and John. What were their names, children? James and John. James and John were fishing with their dad and Jesus said, Come, follow me. Right away, they got out of their boat and followed Jesus because they knew he was a very special leader. These fishermen, Peter, Andrew, James and John, became some of Jesus' best friends, called disciples. Do you know Jesus wants us to come and follow him too? How cool is that? Jesus, God's son, wants you and me to follow him. Who can you follow? Yes, you can follow Jesus. Let's pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus to be our friend forever. Help us follow him always. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow! What an awesome story! All of those fishermen followed Jesus because they knew he is the best leader. So, let's just remind ourselves, who can you follow? That's right. One more time, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. All right, guys, we've had such a fun time, but that's the end. You can go. <laughs> Wait, before we go, we have a song that is about this very story. So let's end off with that. See you next time. Mm -hmm.